Hey everyone, it's Scott Fuller here with another edition of the East Bay Real Estate Market Minute, the fastest 60 seconds in real estate. Today, the topic is gonna to be most helpful to buyers. The topic we're gonna to talk about is five reasons to visit a home at night before you actually purchase the home. Uh, before I get into that information, as always on our website, we've got some great resources, they're free. Take a look on the button that's going to show where you can search for homes on the multiple listing service. We've got everything that's available. If you don't see it, let us know. We'll find it for you. The other button on there is if you're looking to get an estimation of what your home is worth, we've got a fast and free tool that can get that for you. So go ahead and take a look at it and uh, make use of those items. Okay, back to uh, the topic for today. Five reasons that you want to take a look at a home at night before you actually purchase the property or put it in the offer. Um, when you go out and look at properties, a lot of times it's on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon open house, so it's not dark yet. It might not even be past four or five o'clock in the afternoon. You're not really sure what's going on there. Number one, the first thing you want to take a look at, go in the evening or late afternoon or evening hours. You're going to find out what the commute is like. Find out what it's like from work. So practice and test that commute to the house to find out if that's something that's going to work for you. Especially in the East Bay, we're finding that a lot of people the commute is a lot longer than they wanted and you want to be able to find that out first how it's going to impact your time to work and time back home from work. The second thing is um, a lot of times the kids are at school during the day or you don't necessarily see them on the weekends if they're away. You're going to want to find out are there a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. If you have kids you want to find out how old are the kids and a lot of times they're out playing in the late afternoon evening hours. So find out if there's kids there, if that works with your lifestyle with what you're looking for. Number three, is it safe? You're going to find out at night if there's some people, strange people lurking around. If there's any potential issues, you're going to want to know that. So go at night to find that out. Number four, any loud neighbors. Are there some parties going on? People that have a little bit too much fun, maybe on school nights and during the work week. That's going to be another indication. Go at night to find out what the activity is actually like um, in, the, uh, in the evening and, and nighttime. Number five, how about traffic in the area? Let's say if you're buying a place that's maybe close to a downtown or close to shops or things like that, a lot of times that can get a lot busier uh, 6, 7, 8 p.m. So take a look at that in the evening and find out, is there going to be a lot of traffic there? Is that gonna be a problem for you? A noise problem, just you know, a general a safety issue if there's a lot of traffic going by your house, especially if you're on a busy street. Okay, hopefully that's, hopefully that's helpful for you. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks again for watching. Let us know if you need anything as always. Take care. Bye-bye.